Upper endoscopy is primarily used to diagnose uh, problems or symptoms that a patient has. For instance, a, a person has a difficulty swallowing food. So that frequently involves the esophagus. One of the most common things I do is to stretch or dilate the esophagus. It's a very common problem. We also diagnose stomach cancer, acid reflux injury, ulcers. A common reason I see people in the hospital is they're bleeding from an ulcer. I, I would think of an upper endoscopy as a diagnostic and therapeutic tool, not so much as a screening tool. The procedure itself is very brief. It takes about five to 10 minutes to perform upper endoscopy. There's no prep involved. The experience is very, very good because when you don't have to go on clear liquids and when you don't have to drink a prep, you've removed the one barrier. Like colonoscopy, the patient is asleep, so they have no recollection of the procedure because they'll have been sedated the same way they're sedated for colonoscopy. Many times I perform upper endoscopy at the time they're having their colonoscopy, let's say if they have some upper GI symptoms, there's very little to no side effects. People wake up very quickly. A lot of people are concerned about a sore throat or irritation in the back of their throat. The vast majority of people have no recollection that anything was performed. Uh, and they're very surprised when I show them the pictures of their stomach and intestine and esophagus. And we go over the results usually right there after they're done. And so it's a quick, easy way to not only diagnose a problem, but in many instances get a biopsy of tissue uh, or to perform a, a therapeutic endeavor.